inmate. Okay, hi, how are you? Our master admires the progress of your rehabilitation, and hence has given you use of a special ritual. Cool. It's the gallows, used to strengthen persona abilities. That's what I was waiting for. Any further questions regarding this ritual can be directed toward our master himself. He's apparently gonna consider making even more rituals if your rehabilitation goes as planned. Work hard for it, inmate. Work hard for this dude. Alright, so, <laughs> not the leg I wanted to come back on, but yeah, we're here. And what's going on, everybody? We're here for the Rodeo Plays, and welcome back to another heart-stealing episode of Persona 5 The Royal right here on the channel. That's how we left off. We went out, we went out of our way to make our way to the top of the, I guess, pyramid per se. Basically, we opened all the doors and now we're ready to steal Futaba's heart, but of course, problems arose because now we have to get her to let us willingly come in her room so that way we can open the door in here. It's a lot of metaverse shit. Just know we're pretty much ready to go. Now, I wasn't planning on opening up here. In fact, I was actually going to open up after I did all my fusions and whatnot because fusion alarm. So, uh, yeah. So, yeah, but, uh, you know, they had something important they wanted to talk to me about. Let's do it. So, first things first, I'm going to save. Also, I did manage to get the last will seed, too. Uh, turns out when the boulders come down, after the boulders come down, what you're supposed to do is, instead of going forward, you're supposed to turn around, and you can find another stone slab, and uh, that'll give you the code needed to activate the red the red, uh, the red, red part. Uh, I, I don't know what I'm saying. Hey. Hey, Joker. I can't believe I can't believe you're fine just spacing out in this heat. I'm just getting I'm getting killed here. Alright, so because I pretty much know for a fact that uh TRD who's editing this episode is just gonna cut through all of that, hopefully, and he's not a lazy fuck and just watch two minutes of it and think it's cool. Um, allow me to break down what I just got. So um Tamlin, strong as fuck now. Like, don't even make sense. So we have, we still have Assault Knife, but now we also have Brain Buster. We have Zionga. Zionga? Uh, Zionga? I, I, I'm pronouncing shit wrong. Um, but yeah, we replaced that with Rebel. We replaced Rebellion with this. Uh, we have Tar, we still got Tarakaja. Sayo, we have Koga, we have Koga. So yeah. And we have Brainwash Boost. Alright, and that's everything we got from, and also we unlocked the Gallows, so now I can sacrifice Personas to level them up, which is going to be great. Um, what else did we get? We got a Regenerate 2 skill card, and that's it. We pretty much got those two things, so yeah, we about to bounce for today. Well then. The cottage door is closed. Should we head back? Yeah. Alright. Bang. <laughs> Bang. Yes. We finally secured a route to the treasure. All we need to do now is send the calling card. So we've made it. But there's no turning back once the calling card is out. Failure is not an option. Is there anything left to do? If there's anything left to do, Joker, make sure we take our time going forward. <laughs> So what I think I would do is I think I'm going to actually start the Fortune Arcana Confidant. Uh, and I'm going to start the Fortune Confidant. And then after that, we're going to head into Futaba's Palace. Because I might as well, right? Because I've been trying to get this shit down for the longest. Okay. You did great today. You tired? No, I'm good. All the cards ready. That was fast. I mean, I already wrote three of them before, before this, remember? But I came on almost all of the sentences. You don't gotta make it that smooth, Ryuji. The real question here is, the real question here is, when should we go to Futaba's room? Well, um, I think our leader should decide. But who's the smooth one now? It really should be up to him, though, don't you think? Absolutely. We have no choice but to carry this out. It's all up to you now, Akira. There you have it. Sounds like a pretty important task got pushed on you. Yeah, push is the right word. No point in thinking about it now, though. We have to do it. Once you've made up your mind, just give the order as usual at the hideout. Yeah. Ugh. So girl's probably home. 
You still put it at Caddy or Bag? I'm surprised he stays still in this heat. Eh. He's a docile He's pretty docile. Place the magazine. Oh, this is where I find him. What's the puzzle there? I suppose they're a good way to challenge your mind. Oh, I have to. I have to actually do this. When you solve a crossword puzzle, your knowledge will be increased. Try to find the answer that matches both the hints and the number of spaces. Hey, hey. Um, fuck it. Huh. Let's go use our divided. Uh. Am I thinking about this right? I think I'm spelling that right. Bang! I got it. It's semesters. Semesters. Middle school separate the year into two or three semesters. In Japan, this semester begins in April. The government divides the years differently. For example, June, July to June is the wheat year, and October to September is the sugar year or pesticide year. Oh wow! Even I can figure that one out. If you got a bit of smart, if you got a bit smarter after solving that crossword puzzle. I wasn't too bad. I don't have to continuously solve them. Thank you, Melon. Man. Yeah, okay. Alright, so not too bad. Also, I passed that so many times, not even thinking about it. I didn't even know it was a crossword. Hey. Alright, I'm gonna clean up. Well, then. Might as well. Oh. Well, I certainly appreciate that. I'm going home now, so. Don't break anything in the store. Got it? Gotcha, boss. Hmm. Listen up. That should do it for now. Did I level up? Nope. Hey. Alright. So far I think all my stats standing wise are pretty good. Who the hell is texting me? Mm. I'm gonna hang out at your place tomorrow during the day. If I'm at the hideout, I can move out whenever. Oh, I'll bring some manga, so you don't have to worry about me. If you got stuff to do, you can just ignore me. See ya. You're just coming over tomorrow, huh? It's gonna be noisy all day. <sighs> I'm going back to sleep. texting me. What are you doing? It's her again. How much longer are you going to make me wait? Do you not care about me reporting you to the police? No, slow down. Just give us a little more time. I can't do that. We're trying our best here. If you truly cannot wait any longer, go ahead and report us. Hey! <laughs> Maybe I could give you a little more time. Maybe? Alibaba doesn't know what's happening, so I'm sure she's getting anxious. We'll just have to try and appease her for a while. We're practically done. I just got some shit to do today, and then, uh, I have some shit to do today and tonight, and then, yeah. Hey, hey Akira, what are your friends that's here to visit? I don't know if you here. Come on, let's go downstairs. Who texted me? Uh, and the calling card. Alright, so. Takemi. Nobody's there, nobody's there. Dang, y'all niggas is red out. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to go to the airsoft shop and sell the rest of the shit that I have. And then we're gonna go to, uh, Carly, why the fuck are you in my face? Um, I just want, oh, no, I almost went to the building, I'm gonna stay. Yeah, I'm gonna come here first. And then we're gonna sell what we got and put some more money in our pocket. All right. Guess that's oh, we got that bread on us. Oh yeah, I like that. Uh, come again. All right. And then I need a way to spend the day. Let's go to the camp. Fuck it. 
I know I'm just I know I was just shitting about money, but now I got enough to actually do what I need to do, so I'm good. I just need some I just need some quick way to spend the day. I should have spent it with fucking Cammy. Okay. Huh? Well, let's begin your workout. Oh yeah, I'm taking a protein. Be mindful of your pace. You don't want to make the same mistake as last time. Oh. Good job. I was like, good job. Let's keep up that hard work. I see. I see you carrying yourself both physically and mentally. Put on. All right. Put on. Right. And in a protein coming. All right. Put on. Put on. Wanna head back? All right. Yo, can the school can can the school year continue so? I'm, I'm ready to go kick it with Maruki again. Hey. Oh, that's right. I can't go to Kiki Joki. Who texted me? Not much longer. Huh, might as well. Yeah. Look at, let's go see a movie. Damn it! My simple minded ass. You try to cut ties with me. Oh! I'll kill you. Boss, boss, this music from no, P4. That bastard shot this him. is. Boss. I know what this music is from. It's Re it's Rize's Duncan, Marky Striptease. I remember now. Makoto's face has been clutched this entire time. Whatever she said about the director was probably was probably just an excuse. She loves this stuff. Ugh. Let's go. Get that knowledge, that bump in. Oh, it's got even better. You're right. That wasn't so bad. Um, do you do you think it's weird if a girl likes movies like this? Not at all. Do you think? Really? Thanks. I think it's the first time I've been told that. Sorry that I called you all the way. Sorry that I called you over here so suddenly. It felt weird watching a, Yaku a Yakuza film all by myself. You. I had fun though, thanks to you. Okay, let's start heading home. God damn, Makoto, you let my. She on my fucking simple-minded ass. She threw my simple-minded ass off. Who keeps? Who's calling me? <sighs> Apologies for the sudden message. Are you free tomorrow? Oh, uh, work. A work acquaintance gave me some tickets for the aquarium. It would be a waste not to use. It would be a waste to leave them unused. Would you like to come along? Perfect. This allows me to waste a day to hit the night. Sure. Glad to hear it. And tomorrow it is. I'll see the director to Shinagawa Aquarium. So we'll meet there. Guys night out. Guys night out at the aquarium, huh? That should be fun. I guess it's not that weird. Look at two guys on. Two bros go to the aquarium. <laughs> Let me stop. All right, Shinagawa, a traveler hub with access with access to the trains, airports, and numerous other hot springs. Sleep with the fishes. A nearby hotel has an aquarium inside. It's fun for the whole family. All right. Oh yeah, you wanna hang out with my ass? You wanna hang out with the boy Akechi? Also, I finally figured out from my last episode. My uh, mic was throwing me off. I was all, I was fucking uh, off center with my screen, so the mic looked weird to me. So the, the mic work looked weird to me. I don't know. I can't fucking speak. It's been a while since I come to a place like this. Sorry for dragging you along. Hey, it's a nice place. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. It suits you, huh? I wasn't sure if you were the type. Huh? Oh. I recognize those glasses. Look who it is. And we even got the second detective prints here, too. For real? Wait, what? Keep it quiet, please. Oh, sorry. But that's not important. Why are you with a catchy coon? I invited him out. We're fairly close, after all. You are, uh, huh. Oh, uh, don't mind me. I'm just a reporter. He helps me out with my articles sometimes. But who would have guessed that you were friends with the famous teen detective? 
kind of like you. He's pretty. He's pretty hardline anti fan of these, right? What if I ask you a couple of What if I ask a couple of questions about you two? Uh, that's kind of personal. I was just joking. I'm no model. I'm no model journalist, but I'm not dumb enough to pry into high schoolers' private life. I thought this report would be boring, but I got a nice surprise out of it. Well, see you next time I need info. You have some friends in the media, I see. And if I heard right, you two have some sort of professional agreement. Uh, it's nothing bad. Oh, I wasn't worrying about that. Of course, if you had to exp if you had to explicitly deny it, then no, just a joke. I'm sorry if I was pride. You truly are interesting. Thank you. Thanks for coming out today. We should head home. And guess like that, the aquarium is unlocked. It's cool, another cool area. Thought it would be that. Oh, okay. There's still no response from the Phantom Thieves to Medjet. What do you make of this? Most likely, the Phantom Thieves simply don't have the means of confronting them. After all, Medjet is quite different from anyone they've gone up against thus far. It seems their best option is to reveal their identities before more people are needlessly harmed. You really hit us where it hurts. We're going to beat them, though. Alright, so cool. Alright, who's texting me? Uh, you know what? Doesn't matter. It's crazy, because I'm going to do what I set out to do. Is it raining outside? I can't fucking win today, can I? Alright, let's call it Kawakami. Right. You know what? It makes no sense why you would call me on my phone to ask to request you when I can just request you off my phone. Are you gonna call Kawakami? Hell yeah. Hi. I'm Becky, Gorilla Maid of the Maid World. The type of work we do depends on how. Oh, it's you. It costs 5,000 yen to request me, but this time I'll be sure to do actually a job. No, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, Kawakami. What's that other work you talk about? What that other work you talk about? <laughs> Let me stop. What the fuck is wrong with me today? Hey. What? What? You're really going to request me? I'll be heading over right now then. I appreciate it if you cleaned up a little first. I'll make my job easier for sure. Um, I love cleaning shabby, I mean, sophisticated rooms like this. It gives me a sense of accomplishment. If it's for you, Master, I'd happily be covered in dust. But then, doesn't it pain your heart to see such a cute maid all dirty? It does. <laughs> Aw, Master. Even though your room's messy, your heart is so clean. I'll go ahead and get this over with then. This will do, right? Give me a little messy for the shabby cheek feel, you know. And now cleaning is complete. Uh, <sighs> I'm exhausted. I'm not allowed to work overtime during the weekend or on the weekdays, so I rush to my part-time job after classes. On my days off, I have to prep pop quizzes and homework assignments. And today I had to clean bathtubs and walk dogs before coming here. There's no time to rest. Oh, speaking of pets, this one smells like a cat. I feel a lot of strays around my house. I was surprised that you requested me. I didn't think you actually would. You weren't expecting I'm doing anything weird with me, were you? If I keep it a stack 50, you might end up leaving, so... Absolutely not. As long as you understand. I know I'm in a maid outfit, but I'm still your teacher, so don't get any funny ideas. Besides, I'm not trying to get too involved with my students, so... <sighs> I need a nap. Sorry, just give me five minutes. Maybe ten. And before you know it, time's up. Thank you very much. Oh hey, do you know of any well-paying part-time jobs? I assume you make a lot since you can afford a maid service. 
Um, let me know if you do. Mm, you need money? Well, uh... You know. It's for my little sister. She's sick, so I need the money to pay her medical expenses. Hello? Yes, I made a transfer. What? Not enough, but it's the same it's the same amount as last week. I I don't know. I understand. Okay. Goodbye. Uh oh, wrong number. Hey, sorry to ask is out of the blue, but I wouldn't happen to have a hundred thousand yet I could borrow. Damn. No, I know. <laughs> Just take your water and put it behind your back. No. <laughs> Wait, never mind. Why would my student's money would be the worst? Hey, you may have some you may have some money, but be mindful of how you spend it. You shouldn't be wasting it on services like this. This is all for you. I need the money, so I do appreciate you requesting me. However, you're my student, so if we were to get involved further, things would get complicated. I didn't warn you. The rest, your, the rest is your responsibility. You're a high school after all. I sense Kawakami's stressing me. Alright, damn, I'm only on rank 2 of this damn thing. Alright. All right. <sighs> Three more to go. Well, I'll see you later, Master. Okay. Kawakami left. Alright, so... Oh, speaking of Kawakami... Oh, he's this master. Thank you for using our service today. I really want to do a lot more cleaning for you. Is that okay, master? <laughs> oh, uh, what the hell? What? What's wrong? Well, Becky is just working hard. Just working hard, so she gets to see her master again. Ah, uh, sorry, part-time job. Okay, this is driving me insane, so I'm just going to drop the sales talk. Crap, my manager's coming. Uh, well, I hope you request me again sometimes. Bye-bye. Let me tell you something. That is the only reaction if you answer the phone and somebody's talking to you like that. You'd be like, what the hell? Alright, uh, who the fuck is texting me? Alright, talking about the call card, that's fine. Is it supposed to rain tonight? I would love to. I would love to know if there's a way I can find out it's gonna rain. Um, do I just go now? Do I go now? Is it go time? Um, you know what? I think I think it's go time. Actually, let me run the Kiki Shoji first. Not for no particular reason, but more so just because to sell this shit I got. Um, where is it? Here it is. Let me sell all this armor I got, then we're gonna hop in there. I'm gonna okay. sell. Damn! Oh, I had that shit on me. Um. What I got? Auto Masakaja. Holy grab bag. Alright, uh, contains four sets of used clothes. To get it as a surprise. Quick spray. I don't know what I can see for all folks. Do turns. No. Let me go with this. Hey, hey. I don't. Huh. I always want to know what's inside. What's inside this? Let's take a look. Okay. Oh, this is like armor with that. Okay. I thought that was a legit gift, but okay. Um, how good is that stuff? Bet you it's not better than what I got. Damn straight it's not. They have 10 SP though, that ain't too bad. Uh, Yusuke, because which are called, uh, Ryuji doesn't really use spells, you use heavy hitting attacks. That is your gun. Um, Old Shroud. But Ryuji can also put this shit on too. And then for the females, we have Autumn Makoto. That's gun. Golden vest. Oh no, I'm messing something up. That must be an accessory. Then? 
don't know what the fuck that second thing was. Alright, so cool. Now that that's done, now we can actually okay. head back and do what we gotta do. What are we gonna charge into Futaba's room? There's no point thinking it over now. Well, I got the calling card, so let me know when you decide. This is different from past cases. We'll be handing the calling card directly to Futaba herself. Once we give it to her, we'll head straight into her palace. There won't be any time for prep work in between. So make sure you're ready beforehand. Pat. I'll just add. I'm going to save. Boom. 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 Cool. And now we want to send the calling card. Are you sure we're ready to go? Once Kutaba sees the calling card, we'll need to head straight into her palace. Is that okay? I know. Oh, so you're set on doing this? Looks like it's my turn to unlock the entrance. Forgive me, Chief. Nigga, you'll be forgiven. They won't kick you out. How will we convince Futaba to let us into her room, though? Even boss is forbidden entry. Hmm. We'll be honest. Yes. That is the best course of action. You know a method? I think it's quite straightforward. Futaba doesn't know what we're doing inside her palace, correct? Hence, if we tell her we've come to steal her heart, she'll surely open the door and let us inside. Wait. That's it? Futaba wants to have a change of heart. After all, she contacted us for that express purpose. That desire should lead her to open the door as well. You're right. Our feelings should get through if we just try and talk to her. All right. I believe in Futaba. Come on, let's get this done. Bet, let's do it. An eyeball? What's this? God damn, the metaverse app is like the simplest, nigga. This shit just moves from person to person. Huh. When did it get on here? Whoa, whoa! Who are you? I am the other you. Is this some kind of hallucination? It's different from usual. How long will you continue blaming yourself and shutting yourself away from the world? Blaming myself for what? For your mother's death. Don't you think it's time you grasp the truth of that moment? What happened before your eyes? What happened to your mother? The truth. Why did you choose to rely on the Phantom Thieves? That's... Are you simply going to shut yourself in and do nothing? Are you going to avert your eyes from the true answer? If so, I will kill them in your world. I... What should I do? We're sorry for sneaking in so many times, boss. You know, point of being sorry about it. There's no mistaking it. This is the same door as in the palace. Hello, Futaba. You're there, aren't you? Please, answer us. I doubt she'd answer. Alibaba, we know you're there. It doesn't matter if it's through chat messaging, just answer us. Oh, there we go. You should have told me you were going. You should have. Okay, we can just drop this fake ass mysterious voice. You should have told me you were going to come here. In order to steal your heart, we need you to open this door. We can't change your heart otherwise. Please let us in. I'm not mentally prepared. Uh, I have to do this. That's easy for you to say. The other you within your heart told us to have you open it. Deep down, you want to open this door, don't you? The other me? Right. We're trying to uphold our promise, but you're the one resisting us. Give me some time. Ten seconds. That's too short. At least a minute, please. Fine, but if boss comes home, we'll kick down the door and enter if we must. Damn, Makoto. Time's up, Alibaba. Alright, I'll open it now. 
We need to change her cognition. Better to be completely safe than sorry. So she has to be the one to invite us in. Futaba, please open the door. All right, let's go in. What is this? Well, uh, I think what we need to be asking is where the hell is Futaba? Medical science, information technology, biology, psychology. We, these are all technical books. She keeps herself cooped up in a room like this all the time? Where's Futaba? Where could she be hiding? The closet? I know. She'll shut herself in to the bitter end, hmm? Even if that door's opened up, we'll get stopped again inside. I bet a fence or something formed right in front of the treasure now. This, this makes no sense! Explain yourself! Wow, she talked. <laughs> like he's a mute. Change your cognition. Unless we do so, we can't steal your heart. I highly doubt she would understand it, even if we explained it to her. So basically, my cognition is being a hindrance, keeping you away from the core of my cognitive world. Huh? She understood it. Damn, a lot better than the rest of us too. Why do you know about that? Who are you? <sighs> Why'd you call yourself Alibaba and make things more complicated? If you wanted help, you could have just asked for it. I was embarrassed. Huh? Oh, m my bad. I didn't catch that. Because <sighs> I was embarrassed. Makes sense. I think I get it. Asking someone for help isn't that easy. Futaba, can you tell us more? How do you know about the cognitive world? Cause I knew about it. <laughs> Cause I knew about it. I was like saying, how do you? I was saying, how do you know how to make pancakes? Cause I knew about it. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Boss was talking about cognition or something before, right? You think this is related to how he was getting grilled by that one lady? Perhaps her mother was researching this cognitive science that was mentioned. Cognitive science with a PSI in front. Less science, more supernatural. That's important. Well, that certainly got her attention. It seems we're on the right track. Wow, it seems she's definitely like her mother, the way, um, the way Soldier would describe her. So, cognitive science. Futaba, what was your mother working on? Please tell us. What happened? You know, the longer we keep going on with this chit chat and not fixing the problem. The soul girl could be back any minute. She's not answering. Yo, maybe save this for later? Seems she's been through some serious shit, so, you know. Hey, yeah, I'm with Ryuji on this one. True. She did say things like, die. Hold on. Futaba-chan, did you really kill your mother? Well. Whoa, you moron! Wasn't her death an accident? What actually happened? Maternity neurosis? Is that really true? On. We saw what your heart is like, but we still can't figure anything out. The mother that Boss told us about is completely different from your cognition. We want to hear the truth from your mouth. My mom was... The one who killed her was... Possible that she can't remember because her heart has become distorted. I'm so sorry, Futaba chan. It's just that I went through a lot myself, and I. I'm sorry. There! Now steal it! Well! What's gotten into you all of a sudden? Clearly, she, she made like Eminem and cleaned out her co her closet. So, uh, yeah. C come on, hurry it up. We did come to steal your heart, but it, it's not really done right here at this moment. All you really had to do was open that closet door. I'm sorry we made you jump to conclusions. You don't have to be like that. 
I see. <laughs> She's like, fuck this noise. <laughs> What's a shut it on? What's a shut it, bitch? What's the meaning of this? Did you guys trick me? No, please listen. There's a reason we had to do this. She's aware of the cognitive world, but it seems she doesn't understand how a change of heart occurs. Um, Futaba, how much do you know about the cognitive world? I know that there's another world based on cognition, but I don't know how to get there. Can you guys go there? You said you saw my heart earlier. Yes, that's right. How do you do it? We use a smartphone app. Wow. We should just went where we really don't understand it ourselves, because that just sounds underwhelming. Pay nine ninety nine and get the ability to transfer over to the cognitive world. An app? Yes. By entering the required information, we can go to the cognitive world. A name, a place, and a distortion. Those three. So in this case, Futaba Sakura, Sojiro Sakura's house, and... Futaba? You don't happen to have this app, do you? Uh, I don't. Thank goodness. Okay, then. Can you take me with you, too? Uh, no. Eh, I gotta agree. Just leave this to us. I'll leave it to you, then. Good. And you better not forget about our promise, all right? Oh, yeah, almost forgot. The treasure's not gonna appear if we don't ever read this. Hmm? A calling card? It's the one you prepared. Read it. I can't read it. It's too dark. You could just come out. It's embarrassing. What? I'll make sure she reads it, so you guys go on ahead. Futaba, make sure you read it, okay? Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Futaba Sakura has committed a great sin of drowning in sloth. Okay, so this is where this confused me, right? Because the will see you get out of her palace say wrath, but the calling card is sloth. I'm confused. Thus, we will rob every last bit of those distorted desires. Also, it confused me even more because the will see ability is auto monster Kaja, which if you wanted to make it sloth, why not just make it Sekunda? Why not just make the skill you get like Masakunda? No, I'm going to die. Well, guess we got that work cut out for him. Good. Ah! <laughs> Kitty, you again? Alright, about 30 or 40 minutes, at least from me recording, we're about 40 minutes in this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, so, <laughs> uh, random cuts, it's been like a day since uh, the last recording to this one, so um, yeah, we're displacing, but um, we're now heading into Futura's Palace. Um, not much to say, other than that, I did add a new persona to our repertoire. Ooh, look at that, gotta fuck, put a fucking spin on it. And that is Fortune, Aerodyne. So yeah, in case you, uh, quick background, <laughs> quick background on this persona, in case you don't know where it comes from. This persona comes from the Persona Arena series, from the Persona 4 Arena series, actually, more specifically, Persona 4 Arena Ultimax, the sequel to Persona 4 Arena, and it's wielded by the, and it's wielded by the anti-shadow suppression weapon, I think they were called. Basically, if you remember Igus, Igus has a older sister by the name of Labrys, and this is her persona. So yeah, anyways, let's keep moving. Actually, I can just... No, I can't. That was a dream. Alright, cool. Guess we're running upstairs, boys. Alright, uh, let me fix my mic real quick. Uh, probably should have had all this stuff earlier, but yeah. Let's go, boys. 
right? That's the first corridor, I think. Here's the second one we're coming up on. And last but not least, the third one. And I have my headphone cord on my arm. That is uncomfortable. Hey. I hope she read the calling card. I mean, after all the trouble we went through, she damn well have better, Freddy. Yeah. All right, it opened. Oh, yeah, it's on the top of the open the door herself. Nice. Anyway, train this up ahead. Let's finish this. Let's go. Disconnecting my controller. Right. Incredible. So, this is, not, this is the place that represents Futaba's room. Yep, this is the heart of a hacker, alright? Anyways, we have to charge it. This way! I'm gonna install a signal from above us. The charge is definitely manifested. It's not done when we lie ahead. So let's be vigilant and push forward towards the treasure. I'm with it. Yeah! 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 Ah, uh, give me this. I can't take this one. Ah, oh, that sucks. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh. Wait, what? Mm -hmm. Damn, that nigga looking powerful. I want to fade with him. Have a nap. I'm gonna just keep. I'm gonna mind my own fucking business. Oh yeah. Let's get it! Ah! Uh, it's time! Oh my god! Who gave this nigga this sauce? Alice ain't had to do that shit. Let's get it. There's no doubt about it. The time is right past this point. But me, we'll be a wait for this. I don't know. Use case words always throw me off. We'll be a wait us within. No matter what it is, we need to be ready for it. Let's do this. We're coming to save you from Tabatron. If I use this, I can change my heart? Vocal input. Fu... Fu... Futaba Sakura? Sojiro Sakura's house. And then... Something about distortion. 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 Hmm? Not again. You killed her! You're a plague! Murderer! It's all your fault! You're the one who killed her! Don't come near me! It's your fault! Murderer! No! <sighs> That's right. I remember now. Back when they were here, I... I messaged Tomb in the chat and... Input accepted. Searching for route to destination. I can go in now? No! You're a plague! You're the one who killed it's her! It's all your fault! Don't come near me! It's your fault! I can't take this anymore! Beginning navigation. Hell, this ain't what I was imagining. Were you expecting a mountain of treasure or something of that sort? Yes. There is that over there. That's it? The treasure must be inside. All right, let's take it. Be careful. T treasure! We're gonna chill out. There's what? something here. What the hell? I got a bad feeling about this. You and me, Bo Ayo, let's get. Damn, look at that thumbnail shot. Is it a shadow? No! Then... It's not Futaba. Don't tell me. This is insane! If it's not a shadow, then what is it? It's a cognition! A monster that Futaba's cognition created! How can that be? Hey, look out! Uh. Here it comes! Wait, 
Whoa! That's one hell of an entrance for a boss, if I do say so myself. Do not approach the Pharaoh's tomb! Already here! Misfortune will fall upon you! Wouldn't be the first time it happened. Oh, look at it fly about! We can't reach it like this! Shit, me, y'all can never hopped on the back of y'all personas and watch your motherfuckers fly y'all towards it. We've got no other option. Let's take it down with our guns and skills. Damn. Hit you with this gorilla. Not bad if I say so oh, myself. That nigga won't got You love, you love to see. Oh wait, hang on. Oh, I'm now. Help me. Oh, balance, ain't it? Yo, yo. Queen is dizzy. Oh, you'll be a lot harder to land attacks now. Um, niggas is dying. <laughs> This is going so horribly. Then again, that's what I get for having easy now against my starting persona. I forgot when it's time to turn the tables. Nigga, it's time for you to heal. Stop playing with me. Who next? Who next? Who next? I'm next. Persona! Uh. There we go. Time for a counterattack! Big facts. But not right now though. I need to switch up. Who got healer? Let's go. Good thinking. Uh. Thanks. I appreciate it. Oh, he gets trashed. His accuracy is going to be worse now. Ah! Who's Shimi? Fighting shades. Uh. Did it fly up? What's it gonna do? Uh. Tell me. Is it gonna dive attack us? That thing. When's it gonna strike? Uh, you be up. You be up. Persona! I'm switching back to. I'm switching back to fucking, uh, where is he? Don't, don't hide from me, damn it. Now it's not the time. I'm switching back to you because you nullify this. So, uh, yeah. And then I'm a. You be up. Damn! We <laughs> dying! Persona! Out of our way! Bang! Well, Lana, you're trying to come back to you to put everybody out. Ugh! We are doing like no damage come. to this thing. I promise you. Uh. Kaguya. I'm going with Kaguya for the time being. Let's see what this do. I got flew so far on screen, I couldn't even tell how much damage I did. You can't tell at all when it's gonna attack. You can't tell, Mona. You've got to tell us. I can't help it. There are some things that even I can't do. Glad you finally openly admitted. In other words, we all finna die. <laughs> we all gonna die. See, this is inside my heart. I didn't think it'd be like this. Do you remember? This is the suicide note. The men in black suits read it right after mom died. That's correct. Look at the next one. This... This is... When mom jumped in front of that car. That's right. Now the next. No. Don't run. I thought you made your mind up after you talked to the Phantom Thieves. Okay. I'll look. It's me complaining. Mom scolded me for bothering her. Yes. I knew it. It was me who killed Mom. I was a bad daughter. I weighed her down and she hated me for it. It's just like I remember. Are you sure? Huh? Remember everything. Don't avert your eyes. When did this happen? Just a little before Mom died. I whined about wanting to go on a family trip. But she scolded me and said no. Was that all she said? Y'all about to ruin the whole scene for a quick second. Yo, my head feels heavy as fuck on my neck. 
Don't know if I'm cutting that out or not, but damn, my head just felt like it's wearing my neck down, and I don't like it. Mom said, I'm too busy right now. I need to finish my cognitive research as soon as possible. And what, what did you do? I threw a tantrum. Told her she thought her research was more important than I was. That's when she scolded me. What did she say afterwards? Uh, did she say... My research is almost over. Once it's finished, we can go wherever you like. I'm sorry I've left you alone for so long, Futaba. Please try to understand, though. This research is really important. I need to complete it. Even if it costs me my life. Did she hate you? She didn't? But what? She smiled. Ah, my head, it hurts, which is true. You're in my face. Huh? Also, I'm about to interrupt the flow again to just say, in my personal opinion, Futaba would have been such a great candidate story-wise as a character in Persona 4 and with its themes versus Persona 5 and its themes. I'm just saying, it's especially, me? especially, I'm going to also interrupt here, especially, hear me out, let's replace Futaba with Rize. Let's replace Futaba with Rize. Let's have Futaba's story stay the same about her about her trying to mentally figure out the truth about what killed her mother and then let's switch Re her over with Rize and say that she was an idol being ta being uh, being uh, taken over by the industry I feel like that I feel like that could work low key that's, that's an idea I'm throwing out there the, the hell we ain't doing shit to it huh Futaba you came into your cognitive world? Mm-hmm. The person themselves coming into their own palace? If that happens... Hey, Morgana. Good question. Let's say, hypothetically speaking, the person who owns the cognitive world happens to die in it. How long... How long before the entire world would disappear? Just asking. For a friend. You know what? Scratch that. That hypothetical might become realistic soon, and we... I just need to know. You killed her! No! Why don't you say something? It's your fault! It's my fault. It's my fault that Mom... That's right! You killed me! Wait. Is that monster her mother? Futaba's desires and guilt must have distorted her cognition of her. The wish that her mother was alive again is mixed in as well. Along with those eerie jeers. You are nothing but a demon who stood in my way. I wish you had never been born. That way I could have announced my results without having to waste my time on you. What does she mean by that? Could she be talking about cognitive science? You're going to die! There is no meaning to your life! No one needs you! Nobody cares about me. I should never have had Futaba. She was always such a bother. It seems you caused your mother a great deal of trouble, Futaba-chan. She must have had some kind of maternity neurosis. <laughs> That's not terrifying. Hey, yo, Futaba mother got an ass on her, and I just ruined the moment for like the third fucking time. She doesn't know how to arch that back. Hey, we're gonna be in deep shit if this keeps up. So, because she thinks she killed her mother. And because she thinks she deserves to die, Futaba gave birth to a palace where her mother wants her dead? 
Futaba-chan, look! There's no way that monster is your mother! It's just an illusion you created! B but She never abused you, did she? Boss told us! He said she did her best to raise you alone! Isn't this a false memory that's been imprinted upon you? A false memory? Ah! You made your mother destroy all her research, Fataba-chan. She had worked so hard on this well. She lost her mind. And it's all because of you. It's your fault! Um, it's her shadow! Futaba Sakura, remember! You're the reason she committed suicide. Why did you think it was suicide? Because of the note. Exactly. The men in black suits read her suicide note to you. And what was written on it? All of her complaints about me. Yes. The shock and the pain led you to avert your eyes. But they kept reading it aloud in front of your relatives. Think hard. Was that suicide note real? Would the mother you loved so much truly have written that? Did she ever say such horrible things to you? No! She scolded me whenever I had tantrums, but she cared for me! Then what about the suicide note? A total lie! You were used. They forged her suicide note and laid the blame of her death upon you. They trampled all over your young heart! Get mad! Don't forgive those rotten adults! It's because I couldn't face myself. Poor Mom's death. Even then... Why did they have to yell at me like that? <sighs> Utabachan? Uh. What denies you is an illusion. A curse put upon you by the Heartless. You knew from the very beginning, and yet, you cowered in fear. Oh, that's right. I knew, but I... It's all your fault. This time, you'll be the one to die! Will you die as you are told? Who will you obey? Cursed words spat out by a seething illusion? Or the truth within your own soul? It's your fault! It's all your fault! I won't let those distorted lies deceive me anymore. And I won't be led astray by others' voices either. I'm going to trust my own eyes and my own heart to distinguish the truth from the lies. There's no way you're my mom! You're just a fake created by those horrid adults! I'll... I'll never... I'll never forgive them! Talk to him, Queen. Talk to him. Oh wait, Queen is Makoto. My bad. <laughs> what is that? Huh? Don't make a joke. 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 See, I'll put the air guitar right now. You know, for someone who keeps playing, they're gonna kill the top, but you seem really pissed off that she doesn't listen to you regardless. Do it, 
pussy? You won't. Oh, there it is. Damn, it's going to swoop down on us again, isn't it? What can we do? Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Huh. On. This is my heart's world, right? Hacking into my distortion should be no problem for me. Oh, this is a do. Oh, that's that's fucking tough. <laughs> that's tough. Now it's our turn. Here goes. I'm summoning our ultimate weapon to the battlefield. What you got? Oh yeah. A, a ballista? Shoot it down with this, then beat the crap out of it. You ain't say dip nothing more than a word. Ah, Let's get it. Now. Let's bring that thing down. I'm with it. I'll shoot it. I'll handle it. Let's get handle that shit. Let's get it. Oh, Shiny. Utaba didn't need to step out like that, but she. Oh, mama, bro. Let's get it, Papa. Uh. Let's go. Get a power. Time away. Hmm. It's with this Lacona real quick. Oh. Not you. Let's get a pop up. Prepare yourself. And boo. There we go. Woo, oh, nice we we gained. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, we gained. Let's get it. Adjust vertical alignment. Let's get it! Ugh. Let's no get it! 
Uh. Hold up. Hold up. Move it back my way. Move it back my way. Give it back. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Where, where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Don't have it. Area I said baby ball. Well, let's get it. Let's go. Get in. I landed. Persona, take that. Hell number dead. Good shit. Putting numbers out there. Damn, it's like. Hey, yo, yo, I kind of like that. How they had that comp, how they had that ongoing conversation through the boss fight. I like that. Damn. I leveled up. Hey, so level up around like like it ain't nothing. Uh, Check out this new skill. Um, yeah, cause we don't get surrounded often. I'll take that for the time, man. Damn, he was the only one to get a new skill. That's crazy. Futaba! Damn, you're freaking incredible! Dude, incredible isn't even the fucking word. Whoa, what in the world? Ooh, it's totally skin tight. Another thing showed up? Mom? Huh? Futaba. Thank you for choosing to remember the real me. I'm sorry for being so selfish. Mom! Don't come over here. This isn't where you're supposed to be, is it? But I finally got to see you again. Are you being selfish again? 
Um, I... I love you, Mom. I love you too, Futaba. Now, you should get going. Right, Majid. Where are you going? Home. I know how to use the nav now. That fast? I'm three months into this job and I still don't know how this shit works. Yep, here she go. Huh. Oh, right. She left. That girl marches to the beat of her own drum, doesn't she? Like mother, like daughter, I guess. Like you're one to talk. But if we have her on our side... Wait, what about her treasure? Oh yeah, we almost forgot. It's empty? Oh, <laughs> time to go. What's going on? Wasn't it supposed to be here? Futaba herself was the treasure. And she's gone, so of course it's empty. Shoot. This is bad. What's the matter? Not only did the real person come into her own palace, she awakened to a persona while she was here. This place could collapse any second now. We've accomplished our mission if her palace is crumbling. We should hurry back to reality. There, hightail it, let's go. That would be wise. still alive I thought I was gonna die and uh, hey will you let go already <laughs> <gasps> sorry not again what was that sound hmm? what, what are you guys doing out here oh um reminds me where's Futaba oh god what about Futaba Oh, uh, yes, we came all this way, so how about we enjoy some coffee? Oh, that's a great idea! That's fine, but... Uh, I'm not thirsty, though. <laughs> oh, I almost <laughs> forgot. She just, <laughs> she just bullied that nigga in play She's like, I don't give a damn. I have some business to take care of, so you guys go on ahead. Okay, gotcha. Let's go see Futaba. I'm with it. Futaba? Can you hear me? Please say something! I mean, she's breathing. Please! Could this be our fault? Is it because we defeated her monstrous mother? No. That was nothing more than a cognitive being created in her mind. Well, God, if you follow that up with a I think we might be fucked here. I'm not going to jail for Destroying this. Destroying it wouldn't cause memory loss or put a physical burden on her. What should we do? Hey, don't you know a doctor? You do. Can you contact them? A house call is going to cost you, you know. Yeah, kind of seen that coming. How much will it be? That was a joke. So, um, how is her condition? Her pulse, breathing, temperature, and blood pressure are all normal. No ocular abnormalities either. I'm not sure why, but it seems this girl is in some kind of light stupor. Furthermore, she lacks muscle for her age. I doubt she has much stamina either. 
I see. The rebound from her awakening was too strong. There may have been too many abnormal circumstances. We simply cannot keep quiet about this. We should let Boss know. Wouldn't he figure out our identities? Still, we should tell him, shouldn't we? I don't know. That, on one hand, I'm like, we should. And on the other, I'm like, we kind of just broke into this nigga house being realistic. Fuck it. Something happens to his daughter. He's He got to know. Let's, let's go tell him. Mm, I think that would be best. Letting him know is really the only option we have. Well, I catch y'all up. I catch y'all on the other side of that wall once I'm in juvie. I guess it can't be helped now. Just keep the circumstances that led up to this a secret, okay? We found our side. Hey, Futaba. Hey. Uh. Uh. Oh dear. Uh. Um. About Futaba. Well, why do you guys look so down? Futaba-chan's condition. What, this? It happens every so often. Huh? Huh? Yo, Mary, you do the same, huh? She must have used up all her energy. It's like she ran out of batteries. I think it happens because she doesn't get enough exercise. What? She stays like this for a few days whenever this happens. Damn! I'll make sure she gets plenty of rest. Here, keep an eye on her. I'm gonna go close the store. A few days? My nigga, the longest I've ever slept was 24 hours. He said a few Damn! It's hard to describe how I feel right now. Same. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty frustrated. I'm glad she's okay. But what are we gonna do about Majed? <sighs> she's up! Majed. Oh, not tired. Gonna sleep for a bit. She fell asleep again? Futaba <sighs> chan! For a bit? How much is she planning on sleeping? At this point, let's just let her get her rest. She's. She's gone through a lot today. We probably shouldn't wake her up either. I wouldn't. What to do? Too late for us to find another hacker. All we can do is wait for her to wake up. Mm -hmm. She was with her, so I'm sure everything was going to be okay. Now we gotta wait for some time to wake up. All right. And with that being said, I'm gonna end this episode of Persona 5 The Royal right here. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Uh, when we come back, um, we're just pretty much waiting for Futaba to wake up. No, really not how long that's gonna be. So, uh, yeah. With that being said, I will catch all of my fantasy compadres in the next episode. Peace out, guys. <laughs>